Hello, you're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa held a meeting today with the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, in the framework of the Prime Minister's official visit to Qatar, in which they reviewed the brotherly relations between the two countries and means of bolstering them in various fields. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Emir and wishes of success and development to Qatar. His Highness the Emir of Qatar welcomed His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, affirming the importance of his visit and its role in strengthening and enhancing bilateral relations. The two sides agreed on the importance of accelerating bilateral cooperation and coordination between the two countries in various fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the Emir of Qatar for his generous hospitality. The meeting reviewed a number of issues related to regional and international developments, where His Royal Highness stressed the importance of developing cooperation and coordination to be on a level that enables the Gulf Cooperation Council to face all global challenges. His Royal Highness affirmed that the need for more integration on all levels is now more necessary and the Kingdom of Bahrain is keen on establishing cooperation that leads to the best on the bilateral and international levels.
In honor of His Royal Highness's visit, the Emir of Qatar held a lunch banquet which was attended by the Qatari Deputy Emir, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Thani. The personal representative to His Highness the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Johnson bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, the Qatari Prime Minister and a number of senior Qatari officials. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, met today. His Royal Highness the Father Emir, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa al Thani. Sheikh Hamad asserted that His Royal Highness the Prime Minister is an extraordinary GCC and Arab leader because of his supportive stances towards Gulf unity and enhancing cooperation among the GCC countries. He also affirmed that His Royal Highness the Prime Minister represents a valuable role model that all GCC people respect and love. For his part, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Emir for his kind invitation and generous hospitality for his. His Royal Highness and the accompanying delegation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed Bahrain's keenness on developing cooperation with Qatar in all fields, expressing pride in the historic brotherly relations between the two countries. The Father Emir held a dinner banquet in honor of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and was attended by His Royal Highness's accompanying delegation and a number of Qatari Royal Highnesses.
On the sidelines of the official visit to Qatar, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, visited Sugwagif and toured its facilities that represent a combination of tradition and modernity. His Royal Highness expressed admiration of the Sug, which reflects the development of Qatar under the leadership of His Highness the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. His Royal Highness also noted that Sugwagif is an example of historical and traditional sites that are used for touristic purposes, adding that Bahrain and Qatar are keen on promoting heritage to support tourism. Earlier in the day, His Royal the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, arrived in Doha on an official visit to the state of Qatar at the invitation of the Father Amir, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, to discuss the progressive bilateral ties and means of bolstering them in various fields. His Royal the Prime Minister was received by Qatar's Prime Minister and Interior Minister, Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser Al Thani, and a number of senior officers. His Royal the Prime Minister was accorded the official reception protocol, where the Kingdom of Bahrain's national anthem and the state of Qatar's national anthem were played. The Prime Minister expressed pleasure in visiting Qatar and his pride in the brotherly bilateral relations between Bahrain and Qatar, his Rohan has hailed the development Qatar has witnessed under its wise leadership. The Prime Minister stressed the need for direct communication among Gulf Cooperation Council leaders as the region is surrounded with political, economic and security challenges and the need to intensify meetings and increase coordination to preserve the security, stability and development.
The Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jamber Al Sabah, met today His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Bayan Palace in Kuwait City. The Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jamber Al Sabah, the Prime Minister of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Jabir Lambarak Al Hamad Al Sabah, Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, along with a number of senior government officials from Bahrain and Kuwait also attended the meeting. During the meeting, His Highness the Emir of Kuwait welcomed His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to Kuwait and praised the depth of relations between the two countries. His Highness the Emir conveyed his best wishes to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and expressed his hopes for further prosperity and development of the Kingdom of Bahrain under the wise leadership of His Majesty. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince conveyed His Majesty's greetings to the Emir of Kuwait and expressed his wishes for further prosperity, development, safety and security for Kuwait and its people under its wise leadership. The Crown Prince also expressed gratitude attitude and appreciation for the commitment of the Emir of Kuwait in supporting Bahrain-Kuwaiti ties. In this regard, His Royal Highness noted the depth of the historic ties between the two countries and their citizens, which are a product of the commitment and support of both His Majesty the King and the Emir of Kuwait. His Royal Highness further noted Bahraini-Kuwaiti bilateral cooperation across various areas, Kuwait's supportive position towards Bahrain, and Kuwait's role in supporting the GCC and Arab framework and further strengthening GCC security cooperation and coordination. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today the Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah Al Diwan Al Usra in Bayan Palace as part of an official visit to Kuwait. During the meeting, His Royal Highness highlighted that the deep and historic ties between Bahrain and Kuwait have continued to grow based upon the commitment of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah to increase bilateral cooperation. His Royal Highness went on to emphasize that the steady growth both in relations has resulted in impressive achievements across various areas. In this regard, His Royal Highness praised Kuwait's role in supporting Bahrain and the GCC's shared goals of development and prosperity. His Royal Highness and His Highness Sheikh Nawaf then discussed ways to enhance bilateral collaboration across a wide range of areas, including in trade, investment and development. Both sides also reviewed regional and international developments that impact the region's security and stability. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf welcomed the visit of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to Kuwait and then hosted a banquet in honor of the occasion. The meeting and banquet were also attended by Kuwait's National Assembly Speaker, Marzouk Ali Al-Ghanim, His Highness the Prime Minister of Kuwait, Sheikh Jabir Lambarak Al-Hamad Al-Sabah, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and a number of senior Bahraini and Kuwaiti ministers and officials.
His Royal the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier attended today a dinner banquet hosted by Kuwait's Prime Minister Sheikh Jabir al-Mubarak al-Hamid al-Sabah in honor of His Royal Highness and his accompanying delegation at Abraj al-Kuwait. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised uh, developing brotherly relations, cooperation and coordination between Bahrain and Kuwait. His Royal Highness also noted the honorable stances between the countries in all circumstances. His Royal Highness said that the keen interest of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa and the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah al-Ahmed al-Jabir al-Sabah, to enhance the historic bilateral ties founded by the forefathers. The two sides lauded the solid historic relations linking Bahrain and Kuwait that created wider horizons for joint work and further cooperation and coordination for the best interests of both countries and their people. The Crown Prince and the Prime Minister noted the successful partnerships between both countries across wide-ranging sectors, reaffirming the importance of building on existing partnerships, particularly in economic and development-related areas. The dinner banquet was attended by His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in addition to the official delegation accompanying His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. Ministers and senior officials representing the Kuwaiti side were also present. On the sidelines of the official visit to Kuwait, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa this evening visited Kuwait's Avenues Mall. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness was received by Mr. Mohammed Abdelaziz Al Shaya, the chairman of Mabani Company, who took His Royal Highness on a tour of the Kuwaiti Avenue Mall with different facilities. During the visit, His Royal Highness highlighted the cooperation between Bahrain and Kuwait's private sectors, noting the role that strong bilateral relations between both countries play in advancing business partnerships. The Crown Prince added that Bahrain will always be a welcoming country that supports business collaborations and cooperation that are of mutual benefit. In this regard, His Royal Highness noted the wide-ranging Kuwaiti investments in Bahrain, including the Bahrain Avenues Mall, which will be a valuable addition to the long list of shared projects between both countries. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Ministers, Senior Officials, and His Royal Highness's accompanying delegation were present during the visit. Minister of Cabinet Affairs and Acting Minister of Information of the State of Kuwait, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Mubarak Al Sabah, Kuwait's Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Sheikh Azam, and Advisor at the Court of Kuwait's Crown Prince Nasser al Rawdan were also present during the visit. His Royal Highness uh, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme C Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa also visited Sheikh Jabir Al Ahmed Cultural Center, accompanied by the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and members of His Royal Highness's accompanying delegation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince toured the center and his departments and commended the efforts exerted in establishing this outstanding cultural place. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of embracing culture, arts and creativity in developing societies, noting Kuwait's advanced position as a pioneer of cultural and art movement in the region. He also highlighted the role of Sheikh Jabir Al Ahmed Cultural Center in supporting creativity. Earlier in the day, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, arrived in the state of Kuwait on an official visit focused on advancing bilateral ties between the two nations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed his delight to be visiting the state of Kuwait in conjunction with Kuwait's National Day celebrations and extended his sincere wishes to the leadership and citizens of Kuwait on this special occasion. He affirmed that the special relationship between the two countries is underpinned by the continuous advancement of cooperative ties across many areas and sectors that both countries remain committed to building on in order to achieve the shared strategic goals. He stated that this visit represents a positive opportunity to convey His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's best wishes to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness the Emir Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, for Kuwait's continued success under his leadership and to meet both the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister of Kuwait. His Royal Highness asserted that the growth of bilateral ties and partnerships between Bahrain and Kuwait has played a crucial role in achieving our shared objectives both for our own countries and for the wider region.
He also said that Kuwait continues to be a vital partner to the Kingdom of Bahrain in trade, economics and security terms, and this relationship will only be strengthened in the years to come. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, accompanied by the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and a number of Bahraini ministers and senior officials were received by the Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, Kuwait's National Assembly Speaker Marzouk Ali Al Ghanim, Prime Minister of Kuwait Sheikh Jabir Al Mubarak Al Hamid Al Sabah, Kuwait's First Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Sheikh Sabah Khalid Al Hamid Al Sabah, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense Sheikh Mohammed Khalid Al Hamid Al Sabah, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Interior Sheikh Khalid Al Jarrah Al Sabah, Bahrain's Ambassador to Kuwait Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and a number of Kuwaiti senior officials. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed Ibrahim Al Mullah, chaired the weekly meeting today where the Council approved the request of withdrawing Member Diab Al Naimi from the membership of Commission of Inquiry on Medical Services in Hospitals and Public Medical Centers. The meeting approved a protocol regarding the amendment of the double taxation agreement between Bahrain and Morocco. The Council then discussed a draft law regarding sewage and drainage of surface water according to Royal Decree 64 of 2013, and the Council approved to conduct further studies on the matter. Chief of Public Security Major General Tariq Al Hassan inaugurated today the 26th meeting of the GCC Border and Coast Guard officers. He welcomed the attendees of the three day meeting, which was held in line with the directives of their Majesties and Highnesses as GCC leaders. He conveyed the best wishes of Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, stressing the Minister's keenness to promote brotherly ties and enhance coordination and cooperation between the GCC Border and Coast Guard authorities to face terrorism and achieve maritime security. The Public Security Chief expressed thanks and appreciation to their Highnesses and Excellencies, the GCC Interior Ministers, for their directives and support for joint security meetings, including the current one, to promote security cooperation and facing current challenges. He hailed the efforts of the GCC Border and Coast Guard authorities in security protection, highlighting that terrorism, piracy, pollution, infiltration and trafficking are threats to the GCC countries and their achievements. The meeting discussed various important topics, including the vision of the custodian of the two holy mosques on Border and Coast Guard and the importance of joint maritime exercises. Coast Guard Commander Brigadier La Siadi highlighted that the meeting is part of joint work and coordination to achieve advanced maritime security systems. Under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, Deputy Prime Minister Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Development of Education and Training, the BQA hosted the Inkyahi 2017 conference today, which covered different topics addressing the challenges and the positional advantage quality assurance has on its stakeholders. More on this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. The 14th International Network for Quality Assurance Agencies and Higher Education Conference, hosted by the BQA under the theme Between Collaboration and Completion, the Promises and Challenges for Quality Assurance in Higher Education, aims to offer a unique platform for constructive dialogue, addressing some of the major challenges in the field. There are many developments, as you know, in higher education. We've seen the proliferation of e-learning, uh, we've seen the private sector taking on a bigger role and that puts more pressure on quality assurance bodies to have a consolidated approach and a globalized approach. 
Uh, today we live, we live in an interconnected global world and there's a bigger request on students to move from one country to another while maintaining quality. So the overall theme of today's event is on working together, collaboration and quality. This international conference, we are happy to host it here in the Kingdom of Bahrain. And it is a platform for everybody who's concerned with education, higher education, quality assurance, qualification, and how to improve it. I mean, this is like now the question or the problem that every country in the world is actually trying to solve. The conference offers the platform to share knowledge, exchange experiences and strengthen cooperation amongst the various quality assurance agencies, providers and employers on the prevailing issues in higher education, regionally and globally. In Guahi, the International Network for Quality Assurance Agencies in Higher Education, the, by its concept, it's usually traveling from part to part so that we could share the whole wealth of information and experience and the practice that we have with all the regions in the world. We are proud and honored today to participate in this uh, important uh, event. If we look at the challenges facing the higher education in the Arab region, uh, we have enormous uh, challenges. One of them it is the quality assurance. Are our students very qualified? Are they equipped? trained well and that's what we are trying to do with collaboration with the international organization and association. With more than 300 participants from over 56 nationalities, the conference aims to deliver the most recent relevant research, best practices and critical information to support higher education professionals and experts in their daily operations. The Nkahi conference will be held until the 2nd of March, bringing together the world's best quality assurance practices. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.